you're in the Ozone. That's Coach. That's KD. I'm the Devo. We're going to hit up on some predictions for tonight's Big Tilt Curse. Thanks. You're in the Offensive Zone. Your place for Leafs hockey. All right, well, we're getting down to the brass tacks here, fellas. It's prediction time. KD, you uh, you pretty much, you were the closest on the last one, we'll say. Uh, I called Hall, though. <laughs> you called the track meet. So we'll start with you. What, uh, what do you think coming up with Vegas? Yeah, well, Vegas will be coming in. Obviously, has the reputation of being one of the best teams out there. Uh, I like the Leafs this game. I mean, they're going to be playing at home. they got their mojo working a bit. And, you know, I will say Vegas is coming in with, without patch already, uh, without Stone, and without Tuck. Uh, so, I, you know, I like their chances to win. I believe I said the same thing when they played Pittsburgh, and that didn't work out so well. But I, I, I think when you're, when you're depleted like this, they are scrambling to sign people. Like, they, they what, signed a, a Modio, whatever, a, a Matteo uh, from the Leafs on waivers to try and get big bodies in that lineup at forward. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're going to have problems scoring goals. So... Um, I think the Leafs are, are finding their, their offensive legs, and so I, I think it carries them to a win. Great point. Coach? Okay. Well, um, Vegas season is a lot like the Leafs so far. Started out really rough, but they've won three in a row, and um, how, and they got a lot of talent. This is a matchup of preseason cup favorites you know, within that group. So both teams are struggling. Both teams are 500. It's funny, this is the third game in a row where the Leafs get a depleted lineup, right? Detroit missing a bunch of guys last night. Patrick Kane didn't play in Chicago. And now Vegas has some injuries. I'm going to mix it up and go uh, 4-1 Leafs. Wait, that was exactly what I said last time. I say 4-1 Leafs and Matthew scores, which is also what I said last time. But I'll go, uh, I'll go off the cuff with another prediction here. And just to close the loop on why I was wearing that Sharks hat when I met J.P. Barry, That was at the 2018 NHL draft, and I, I attended as a, a guest of the Merkley family. Ryan Merkley was in the draft, friend of a friend. My brother and uh, our buddy Vanny had coached his sister in youth hockey. So um, they had a big group that attended the draft, and uh, I went to the draft, of course, in my Leaf colors, just a golf shirt with the Leaf logo. Anyway, the kid gets drafted by San Jose, and all of a sudden, this whole our whole group is going to the San Jose Sharks suite. And I got this leaf thing on. So I bought that hat. The, I bought a Sharks hat so I could go up there. I met Doug Wilson. I met, met Pete DeBoer, a really nice guy. Mike Ricci comes over and he goes, Hey, what's with the freaking shirt? He didn't say freaking. All right. And, <laughs> like, and he was not smiling. He did not like it. So it's like, sorry, bud. And that guy's still greasy and would have kicked the shit out of me. But anyway, I got through it. It was it was a great um, a great uh, uh, experience. But I bring all that up to say Ryan Merkley, that kid who got drafted, first NHL game last night for the Sharks. They had all kinds of COVID problems. He um, played 16 minutes. By all accounts, played well. And my prediction is he'll be an NHL regular by the end of this year. So, um, you know, point a game player wherever he's played be, be before this. I hope he gets some sticks in the league. Way to go, Ryan. Thanks for uh, the cash bar at your party. <laughs> All right, I'm calling 3-2 Leafs. Thanks for stopping in at the Ozone, everybody. Take care. Smash that like. Hit subscribe.